Like its close relative, the lime pie of the Florida Keys, Down East or Harker's Island lemon milk pie was meant to provide a tangy finish to a seafood meal without causing digestive upset or health problems. The no dessert with seafood superstition turned out to be medically unfounded, but hey, we got a great traditional pie out of the belief, so it's all good. And nowhere is this dessert more traditional than throughout the marshy coastal peninsula of eastern Carteret County. Karen Willis Amspacker, executive director of the Core Sound Waterfowl Museum and Heritage Center at Harker's Island, makes lots of lemon milk pies, which have a distinctive rich cracker crust. We'll tell you where to find the exact recipe after her demonstration. Karen admits to being compulsive about whether the crackers are turned right side up. Uh, can you guarantee that this pie will be edible if the, co if the crackers aren't facing the right I, I've seen a few go down the tube <laughs> with uh, uneven Ritz. The other thing about the Ritz is you don't want the low salt, low fat, none of that. If you're going to eat lemon pie, you need lemon pie. And she insists they have to be Ritz crackers, not a generic brand. Put at least one good layer of crushed crackers over the whole ones on the bottom of the pan. Karen says you can be a little heavy-handed here. For the filling, three egg yolks per pie beaten together with one can of Eagle Brand sweetened condensed milk. And then there's lemon juice, fresh squeezed or not. I don't squeeze lemon because I do it in volume. And usually it's at least 16 pies, this time 24. And it's just as good. But I make, I make sure it's the real lemon too. Mm -hmm. Karen believes in beating the filling ingredients for a long time and in adding each ingredient slowly. I think it's important for the chemical process. I mean, not being a scientist or anything, I just think it, it works, it's smoother. Well, it's interesting though that uh, while some, some people cook a filling like this, you don't. So is it the, the lemon juice that uh, essentially works with the egg yolks to kind of cook uh, and, or and set it? And the condensed milk, yeah. and the sugar and the condensed milk. There's a particular pattern to follow in pouring the filling. And I start at the edge because if you go in the middle, your Ritz crackers are going to go over the edge of the pan. So you've got to go real slow. And this basically helps keep them from it floating. Help keep, keep the crumbs from floating. And you fill it up. Here we go again. Well, is that something you discovered uh, just from yeah. trial and error? <laughs> yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, repositioning Ritz crackers. Three reserved egg whites per pie, plus one extra if you like, along with one cup of sugar per pie, will make the meringue. Just let them keep gradually speeding them up. It starts making kind of little grooves around the edges and it starts turning white. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because by the time you add the sugar, it's going to get stiff real fast. Mm. And I don't like mine stiff. I want it to be so I can smooth it out. Okay, all right. So don't a, add the sugar too quick. Don't add the sugar too quick. But don't let it go too long. And don't dump the sugar and in all don't at dump once, the right. sugar. The whole cup of sugar. You can beat the meringue until it's a bit stiffer if you want to swirl it into little peaks, or you can leave it slightly softer like Karen does. Be sure to push the meringue all the way to the edge there to seal it and prevent it from shrinking later. The pies bake at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the meringue looks like a toasted marshmallow. There's a variation of this pie, recently known as Atlantic Beach Pie, that has a crust of slightly sweetened and buttered saltine crackers and with no meringue but rather a topping of unsweetened whipped cream with a sprinkling of kosher salt. But from Beaufort to Cedar Island in Sea Level and Atlantic and Davis and other Down East communities, especially Harker's Island, you'll find residents, particularly the older ones, enjoying traditional Down East lemon milk pie.